This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome to Kumar Consulting. So guys, uh, here uh, this session. So here I'm not going to cover any new error and all, but of course uh, I have recorded one video on this uh, number range related issues error. And uh, I have to add few more points. I have to add few more points in that. So that is the purpose to record this video. Now look at here guys, in the previous video, uh, I explained this error, that account, this one already exists. Okay, and I've given some explanations and all in which cases these kind of things are going to happen. So I explained already guys, like uh, here. Okay, so what's happening guys, somebody, let's suppose use transaction code, uh, I've given, quoted the example of XD and one. I'll put the same example here in XD and N1. What is happening, guys? Let's suppose this is the number range, right? Now, this number range I'm using. Let me open one more screen here. My uh, okay, here my account group, customer account group is. So first of all, you have to go to customer account group is TM11, okay, and. Uh, so whenever we are going to set up this account group guys and number range the number range are going to be assigned to your account group right so that is why even account group also controls the number range of course it controls the field status of master data and apart from this number range as well so obar and here we are going to assign Okay, so what I have done in the previous video guys here we have used a number range 0 to earlier what I did earlier I have assigned 0 1 as a number range okay but 0 1 was there and here what was what was the issue guys the issue was like somebody has someone has right now 0 1 means look at here guys till 104 customer has been created right now so here what is happening somebody since it is a common server guys so what is happening and this is practice server itself uh, it's online server multiple people are accessing this uh, having access and all and they are doing lots of research and also somebody what they have done somebody has done this somebody has reset the number in status it means they have changed it okay they have changed it they have removed the number in status and if you save it now whatever number in status status is there that is gone so here system is unable to find out like how many customer has been created now if you click here so how system is going to find out how many customers has been created from this range guys so whatever the latest customer is getting created whichever the latest customer or vendor is getting created guys so here it is going to be updated in case of GL this functional this this is not there guys in GL manually we are going to give the customer sorry GL number and all right but here in case of vendor and customer what is happening number and status is getting updated automatically by system so here if we reset the number and status then system will unable to identify that how many customers we have created right because the logic I have already explained in the previous session also that whenever the customer is getting created the latest customer number is getting updated here okay so when the next customer master is getting created or vendor master is getting created the system is system will check the number in status and in that system is going to add plus one so that the next customer number or vendor number is getting generated so here the issue was this was the error which I have explained guys that amount this already exists okay so now by using this i have already assigned number range if you are going to set up xd01 a customer master then you will be having error this is already i have explained in the previous video also right now here give your now so this is the customer i have given and click on company code data test one okay it's already created with the same detail so we'll make it two and then click on company code data 
in the previous session we successfully created guys now if you save it then you will be having this error that customer 100 is already exist now what solution i have given guys the solution which i have given that okay in that case if you are going to now if you're going to create again the next customer there might be a chances that next year for next customer also you'll be having same errors so now you don't know how many customers have been created in that how many customers you have created in that so might be uh, you will be getting multiple such kind of messages one by one customer number 101 is created customer number 102 is created right so in that case what i provided uh, the solutions which i have given is because i know that you all are practitioner and all so that's what i said simply instead of making more and more experiment you guys can do one thing that instead of then you can change the number in, in the sense here we are having zero one now better to use zero two so, so what you have to do in that case here o b a r okay and uh, here tm level and here i said to use number is zero two so if you're going to use zero two you'll be able to or zero two or zero three or any other number range instead of using the zero one we can use a different so this is how what will happen guys quickly you'll be able to create your customer master and you can proceed further with your further for your further testing and all okay this is what one solution now apart from this even we are having other solution also even we are having other solution also and that solution is from sap table sap table we can find out how many customers have been created okay from sap the only thing is like i didn't quote this because uh, in my whatever videos i uploaded and all in that i have not covered any i have not given any go to say session on this table and all so that is why but anyway this is also a solution that first of all uh, we can find out if if let's suppose if you have to use number range zero one itself okay let's suppose you're saying that no i have to use this number range itself then what is the solution right how you'll find out how many customer has been created under this range right so for that we are having solution okay how we can get we can get it from master data table use any transaction code se16 or se16n anyone you can use okay and here you have to use this is the table kn a1 okay there'll be a separate session on this we'll try to record a video on this uh, on this table particularly now so we are having for customer we are having kn a1 like uh, kn b1 for vendor we are having lf a1 lf b1 and for GL also we are having SK1, SK beyond. Multiple tables are there, guys. Now we are talking about customers. For customers, what is happening, guys? Use table K and A1. And from this table, from this table, okay, we can give you the range. Okay, let's suppose here. What is the number range? 100 to 109. okay you can give a range and if you execute then you will come to know how many customers we have created under this range look at here 100 and 101 is created and then what next guys again 105 and 106 is created so if you want to use this range of sequence wise and all then what is happening again we also can reset this number and status we can reset the number and status and what is happening guys 100 and then 101 okay then again in between gap is there so you can give your 101 and better to make use of this two three four and then again you can reset the status and then we can jump to the next one right uh, this this is how so now here what we have done we have reset the number and status now we have reset the number in status and our status now we made it 101 now if you're trying to create the customer let's see what is happening guys so we'll do one thing 
slash n x t 0 1 okay so only required details i'm going to give and just save it so look at here guys now we are able to generate the next customer number 102 how because what is happening guys whenever we are going to set up the customer master it is getting created against account group right and against account group what we have done we have assigned the number range code right so system is going to trigger account group from account group which number range code we have assigned that is 01 and against 01 what is happening guys against 01 it is this number range is there 100 to 109 right and in number status what is happening guys 101 is there so what is the next number 101 plus 1 102 and if you click on back button and if you go again inside look at here oh my god number is status is 106 106 right so here again what is happening so now again in that case what will happen guys you'll have to reset once again status because if you want to generate this uh, uh what to say the next one 102 and 10 what to say 102 uh, is already generated right 103 104 and all then you'll have to reset the status and all and then we can be able to find out but uh okay now here so this is how also this is how also we can come to know this is how also we can come to know that how many customer has been created against like uh in between like whatever range we have given in that range how many customers uh has been created how many customers has been created then really what is happening guys whatever the numbers customer numbers are there it is not there in sequence 101 102 10 10 100 101 1, 102 is created then after 5 and 6 is there right so now automatically system has considered 106 right so next customer number it means 107 is going to be generated but in between if you have to utilize whatever three and four is there then what we have to do we have to reset the status and then we can utilize those things now so this is the another solution which was not added but uh, this credit goes to uh, the one of the candidate because uh, he has generally commented on this video and so this credit i'll be giving to mr naveen because uh, particularly he has commented on this videos and all that uh, i can give one more solution for this error go to vendor table and generate this vendor list between uh, whatever things i have done here practically the same solution he has given like okay we can give this range and all and then this is how we will come to know how many uh, uh, vendor has been set up okay so this credit goes to Mr. Naveen and uh, apart from this, I got one more comment here uh, from Mr. Mudassir and he's saying that this issues occur only in ideal system, but not in the real time. Of course, guys, whatever these issues are there, this is whatever errors I have uh, what to say, recorded or uploaded. This is just for the purpose of because these issues I'm receiving from my students and all so now uh, every time i have to you know provide this uh, typing and something and giving the solutions and also i prepared a video and i have uploaded on youtube so that whoever the practitioners are there sap practitioner those people are only those people are going to be because these these videos are going to be watched most likely 98 percent those people are there whoever is practicing for sap and all so those people are watching this video so that is why uh, whatever issues are going to be explained of course these are the basic issues only which is going to be helpful for all sap practice practitioners uh, these basic issues are not going to uh, what to say uh, take place in real time and all multiple other things are also there in uh, real time and all but yes whatever you have specified of course it is taking place in ideal system i'm receiving these errors from my students and all so i thought like okay i'll prepare a video i'll upload on youtube so that whenever any of my students are going to face such kind of issues and all i'll directly share the video that they can watch and they can easily solve this and apart from this there are other multiple other practitioners also who is doing practice 
on SAP and if any error uh, is taking place then in that case what is happening people either they are searching on YouTube or they are searching on Google and also in that case this video is going to be helpful for uh, those people so thank you uh, for your comment and thanks a lot Mr. Naveen for uh, your comment also so that's all in this session guys.